A new study shows Earth's magnetic field is continuing to weaken around the South Atlantic anomaly, an area stretching from Africa to South America, which some scientists have speculated could signify the start of a flip in Earth's magnetic polarity. New data from the European Space Agency's Swarm Constellation shows the strange behaviour is continuing to increase, and it has geophysicists puzzled. The South Atlantic anomaly has been a problem for satellites for decades. Spacecraft flying through this area are more likely to experience technical malfunctions, as the shield provided by Earth's magnetic field is weaker in this region, allowing charged particles from the Van Allen radiation belts, as well as the Sun and cosmic rays, to penetrate deeper down into the atmosphere. In fact, NASA is forced to shut down operations with the Hubble Space Telescope when it orbits through this area. Satellites have been known to go haywire, and even laptops used by astronauts aboard the International Space Station have been known to suddenly crash above the anomaly. But the implications are far more global. Earth's magnetic field is vital for life on our planet. It's a complex and dynamic force that protects life from cosmic radiation and charged particles from the Sun. The magnetic field is largely generated by an ocean of superheated swirling liquid iron that makes up the Earth's outer core, some 3,000 kilometres beneath the planet's surface. Acting as a spinning conductor in a dynamo, it generates electrical currents, which in turn generate a continuously changing electromagnetic field. And this field is far from static, varying in both strength and direction. For example, as we reported last month, Recent studies have shown the position of the North Magnetic Pole is changing rapidly, moving from Arctic Canada towards Siberia at an ever-increasing rate. Scientists and navigators have been noticing this drift ever since Magnetic North was first measured back in 1831. However, since the 1990s, what was a slow drift has been speeding up, going from an historic wandering of no more than around 15 kilometres per year up to its present-day speed of up to 60 kilometres a year. Over the last 200 years, Earth's magnetic field has lost around 9% of its strength on global average. And from 1970 till now, the minimum field strength of the South Atlantic anomaly has dropped from around 24,000 nanoteslas to just 22,000, while at the same time, the area of the anomaly has grown, and it's been moving westwards at around 20 kilometres a year. Over the past five years, a second centre of minimum intensity has emerged just southwest of Africa, and that suggests that the South Atlantic anomaly could be splitting up into two separate cells. Earth's magnetic fields often visualised as a powerful dipolar bar magnet, the centre of the planet, tilted at around 11 degrees to the axis of rotation. However, the growth of the South Atlantic anomaly suggests that the processes involved in generating the field are far more complex than that. Simple dipolar models are unable to account for the recent development of the second minimum. Scientists are using data from the Swarm constellation to better understand this anomaly. The Swarm satellites are designed to identify and precisely measure the different magnetic signals that make up Earth's magnetic field. Jürgen Matzger from the German Research Center for Geosciences says the new eastern minimum for the South Atlantic anomaly has appeared over the past decade, and in recent years it's been developing vigorously. The challenge now is to understand the processes in Earth's core which are driving these changes. It's been speculated that the current weakening of the field could be a sign that Earth's heading for an imminent pole reversal, in which the North and South magnetic poles switch places. The Sun goes through polar reversals just like this every 11 years. And similar polarity reversals have occurred on numerous occasions throughout Earth's history, roughly every 250,000 years or so. However, according to the geological record, the last flip was some 770,000 years ago, which means, based on past history, we're well and truly overdue for the next. Based on past evidence, life survives these flips fairly well. There's nothing in the geological record to suggest any sudden increase in cancer rates or species diversification due to increased radioactivity from the sun getting through to the Earth's surface. Of course, none of the past flips of Earth's polarity have involved modern-day technology. Think about things like blown transformers and overloaded power lines. Sure, you can replace one or two transformers if they go off the grid, but what happens if globally thousands of transformers suddenly blow? The good news is that the intensity of the dip in the South Atlantic anomaly is still well within what's considered normal levels of fluctuation, at least for now. 
but it might not be a bad idea to stock up on candles just in case, and possibly also toilet paper. This is Space Time. Still to come, new results raising new questions about our understanding of the foundations of the cosmos and the Chinese Internet of Things placed in orbit. All that and more still to come on Space Time. Space Time.